The graph shows some measurement of the decay rate of a sample of a radioactive nuclei iridium. I is iridium in case if you don't know. The half life for this radioactive decay will be how much? In case if you are familiar, very good. In case if you don't remember, what is half life? The time in which the number of nuclei in a given sample reduces to its half of its original value. That's called half life. So if iridium is a nuclei with uh, its mass number 128, okay, is undergoing decay according to this graph, then you have to figure out what? The half life, okay. So let me give you one more formula, though you will find this formula in the notes. The derivation is also in the notes with the top topic name decay rate. Decay rate means the rate at which the given nuclei is undergoing decay process. So decay rate is given by R is equals to R naught e to the power minus lambda t. That is the time. Lambda is disintegration constant. Now, if I take log both the sides, so it will be log of R or let us take ln because they have given in the graph log natural. So, ln, all of you are familiar from chemistry, what is the difference or what is the relation between ln and log? So, ln of R that will be equals to ln R naught plus ln of e to the power minus lambda t. Let me remind you why it is plus log of A into B is log of A plus log of B. Let us remove that exponential and log because we know that they will cancel each other and you left with minus lambda t, minus lambda t, log and exponential they will cancel out. Now if I rearrange these terms ln r will be equals to minus lambda t plus ln r naught. And if I compare this equation with our standard equation of line y equal to mx plus c, y will be represented by ln r that you can see here, x axis is represented by time t which you know here and lambda is the disintegration constant that we can find the slope and this lambda will give us the half life. What is the relation between lambda and uh, the half life? T half is the half life that is equals to 0 0.693 upon lambda. This formula is very, very useful. What is half life? 0 0.693 divided by the given wavelength, uh, sorry, not wavelength, lambda is here disintegration constant. So how do we uh, get here lambda? We will get here lambda by using slope. So slope, now don't ask me how to calculate the slope of a straight line. Let us choose this point. What is this point? So this point is 225 that is our t comma 0 and let us choose this point what is this point 6.2 so 0 comma 6.2 we got two points let us calculate the slope so slope m is equals to x 0 minus 6.2 divided by 225 minus 0 y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 let us calculate this using our calculator okay so let me use a calculator to save time 6.2 divided by 225, okay. That is nearly uh, 0 0.0275 or 276 also you can make it, okay. So I am just making because 5 is repeated again. So this is your slope and that slope is negative means that you can see it from the graph. So uh, lambda will be equals to 0 0.0275. Let us substitute above and get the value of t half that is half life 0 0.693 divided by 0 0.0275. So, let us find the approx value by using uh, calculator divided by 0 0.0275 that is 25 minutes. Okay. So, correct option is option B.